This is an introduction to Frontline Test Equipment's Ethernet Dashboard. The Ethernet Dashboard makes it possible to monitor, analyze, and alarm your network for both application utilization and IP address occurrence, all on a single resizable display screen. Utilization, which is percentage of max bandwidth over the last 10 seconds, is shown in a 10-minute graph, a 1-hour graph, a bunch of little 10-minute graphs, a top utilization bar graph, a network utilization meter, a top utilization meter, and an application distribution bar graph. Placing the mouse in one of the large graphs shows a black dot so you know exactly which data point you're on. Information about that data point is shown underneath the one hour graph and shows the packet range, packet count, and throughput. You can change the display by clicking on one of the little graphs, clicking on one of the rows of the bar graph, There is a max bandwidth selector, so you can specify the max bandwidth of your network. The bad packets meter shows the percentage of bad packets over the last 10 seconds. The application distribution graph shows how traffic is distributed throughout the network. An alarm consists of a color indicator on the screen and email sent to each specified email address. There are two levels of alarms. A warning level is shown in yellow, and a critical level is shown in red. Green indicates no alarm. So we have five alarm regions here, the three meters, the network alarms table, and the IP addresses pie chart. Those areas are all large so that you can make the dashboard small and tuck it into a corner of the screen, which is how a lot of people like to do it, and the alarm indicators are still very visible. Email addresses are specified here. You specify the mail server and the email addresses. If you want redundancy, you can specify an email address more than once, and a separate message is sent to each occurrence. You can send a test message to verify that the addresses are correct. Alarms are generated for applications and for IP addresses. Application alarms are specified here. This also specifies the contents of the application distribution graph. These are the defaults, but you can specify whatever you want. For each entry, you can specify whether it appears in the application distribution graph, whether it constitutes an alarm, its name, its port number, its port type, the alarm thresholds, both yellow and red, and you can specify a minimum duration in seconds, which specifies the amount of time that the alarm condition must exist before an alarm is generated. This keeps you from being inundated with email for alarms that occur briefly but frequently. Now I'm going to try to generate both yellow and red alarms. First I'm going to downscale the bandwidth, which upscales the data. And that gives us a yellow alarm right away. You can see that both the dot and the background become yellow. To make a red alarm, I'm going to change the threshold for a red alarm to 11%. And now we have a red alarm. The background color is for the highest alarm level. So if we had both yellow and red here, this would still be red. I'm going to force that back to red. An alarm is generated for the first occurrence of each unauthorized IP address. IP address alarms alert you to unauthorized IP addresses that can constitute a security breach 
or affect network performance. IP addresses can be specified in one of two ways. You can either specify all the IP addresses that are unauthorized, or you can specify those IP addresses that are authorized, in which case all other IP addresses are unauthorized. So for example, if we specify here that all of our internal IP addresses are authorized, and the star is a wildcard, then we see that we have many IP addresses that lie outside of our network. We can see what those addresses are here. These are the authorized addresses, which match our specification. And these are all the others. If after looking at these, you decide that they're all OK, you can copy them. Control-Shift-N to highlight, and Control-C to copy. And then you can paste it into your list, Control-V. And now, all IP addresses that have been seen so far are authorized. If any other IP addresses occur, they'll be flagged as unauthorized. Applications are shown in the order in which they're specified. To see the IP addresses associated with an application, you can click on a row, and you get a scrollable bar graph showing all the addresses. Some of these are empty because they occurred more than 10 seconds ago. There is a bytes radio button that makes it possible to change some of the displays from utilization to bytes. Top utilization changes to top talkers. Percent top utilization changes to percent top talker. Bad packets over the last 10 seconds changes to bad packets over the entire session. And application distribution changes from percent max utilization to percent bytes sent and received over the entire session. This has been an introduction to Frontline Test Equipment's Ethernet dashboard.